Hi, this is County Judge Bob Abear speaking to you again from the Emergency Operations Center in Richmond, Texas. Uh, I want to bring you up to date on some important information regarding debris removal and give you a status of where we are. Uh, for our gated communities, uh, I'm pleased to say that we just received authorization from FEMA to collect the debris from behind the, gated, the gates in the gated communities. We will be circulating a required FEMA release form to the boards of directors of the various HOAs tomorrow to get them executed. Once they're executed, we'll be able to schedule your community uh, for pickup as trucks become available. That's really good news. Now, more pragmatic and uh, something we have to understand, we have to live with, uh, the debris. In Memorial Day 2016, which was our previous record flood in the river, we had 50,000 yards of debris, give or take. Uh, this uh, event, which was caused by Harvey, which was primarily a rain-driven flood, followed by a river event, has generated over 500,000 cubic yards of debris. Unlike Ike, when we had a larger number of debris, the vast majority of that debris was uh, trees and shrubs and brush that we basically collected and burned. This 500,000 cubic feet is household debris and uh, has to be handled in a particular manner, which slows the process to a great extent. Through yesterday, we had picked up 103,000 cubic yards. That's in eight days. And there was a ramp up period, but we're clicking along at 10 to 11,000 cubic yards a day right now. We have 20 double wide trucks running full time, picking up debris, taking it to our transfer sites. We have 13 county trucks with crews uh, also moving through our subdivisions, primarily picking up the bags uh, and small areas of debris that they can handle. So we have a total of 33 trucks out there in the daylight hours picking up debris. We have a smaller group of trucks coming in tomorrow. They will start moving debris from our transfer stations to the landfills for permanent disposal uh, so that those temporary sites don't get too cluttered up and become unusual unusable just because of the massive amount of debris stored there. And we'll continue this process, but if you do the math, if we can hit 11,000 acre feet per day and we have 400,000, uh, pardon me, 11,000 cubic yards per day and we have 400,000 cubic yards left, we're looking at something between 30 and 40 days just to get all the debris out of the yards. We'll keep working at it though until that's done. Now, if you have an issue regarding debris, you call our Road and Bridge office at 281-342-4513. They have a special desk set up there that should be able to give you the best information we've got on exactly what we're doing in debris as it pertains to your location or a location that you have interest in. Uh, the work goes on and will continue to go on until we get there. I do want to point out one thing about uh, the debris that we have out there, mold spores. Mold spores are uh, prevalent in a post-flood environment. They th thrive during the flood. They attach themselves to the sheetrock and the carpet uh, as the water goes down and we take them out of the house, we pile them out in the yard. Now, these debris piles in and of themselves are not particularly hazard, but don't fool around in the debris piles. Avoid them as much as possible. Uh, these mold spores can trigger respiratory ailments uh, especially asthma in young children. So these are not areas to be playing around in. Just uh, go about your business and uh, let the debris sit there. And if you do have to handle it, if we clean the area between the curb and the sidewalk and you have to move some more out there, put on your mask and your gloves and do it the right way. Stay safe, uh, protect yourself. Uh, I'm very pleased with the response of the entire community and helping their neighbors. Uh, it's not over. Many of your neighbors may need help getting debris piles moved from their front yard out to the curb. If you see folks in need, make the effort to help them. Let's all work together to get through this emergency. And with that, I'll sign off until we have more information to pass on to you. Uh, you have a great evening. Thank you very much.